Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is a special prayer for the young adults. Loving Lord, we thank you for our youth and young adults. Thank you for knowing each one of them absolutely. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to be their helper and their teacher. Thank you for blessing our youth socially, academically, relationally, and emotionally. Father, we sing praises to you, our God, our strength. We will sing, beat the tambourine, play the sweet lyre and the heart. Your dwelling place is lovely. We faint for logging to enter your courts with thanksgiving and also, Lord, with praise. Also, Lord, we give our whole being, bodies, and souls. We will sing joyfully to your loving God. Your unfailing love is better than life itself. And how we praise you. And we will praise you as long as we live. We'll lift up our voices and hands to you in prayer. You satisfy us with the richest feasts. Feast. We will thank you with songs of joy. Sovereign God, we confess that our youth and young adults would really truly understand their bodies are a temple and of the Holy Spirit. We declare that they will give their bodies to you and as a living and holy sacrifice, the kind that you find acceptable, and this is truly their worship to you. They will not copy the illicit behavior and customs of this world, but Lord, they will do what you want them to do. Please transform their lives and make them into new people, changing them from the way the way they think from the inside out. We declare that our youth and young adults will grow in your words, that you will know their will for them, and that is that good and pleasing and acceptable will, that they will know that you in your fullness, and also they will worship you and be thankful. We declare that our youth and young adults will not do vile and degrading things with each other's body. They will not trace the truth of you for a lie. In Jesus' name, we declare that our sons and daughters will not last lust after each other, and they will not burn with lust for of the same sex. As a matter of fact, our sons and daughters will not have sex until they marry. We declare that our youth and young adults will not participate in pornography, fornication, homosexuality, or any other sexual perversion. We confess they will unashamedly run away from sexual sin. Holy Spirit, our deliverer, some of our youth and young adults are ensnared in the perversions of this world. Please remove the scales from their eyes and circumcise their hearts so that they can see themselves reflected in God's word. Remind them that they're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and also, Lord, that they would know that you are the ones that are with them. Also as well, Lord, help them to realize that, Lord, you have made them their very your very own possession. Deliver them from shame and anger and perversion and sin that creates uh, in their hearts and minds. Remind them that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus and nothing can separate them from the Father's love. So very important. Lord, also as well, show them how much you love them today. Help our youth and young adults to uh, make the right godly choices. Convict them of what they watch. Help our youth and young adults to make also as well, Lord, to help them, Lord, to when they are in social media, to make sure that, Lord, they are godly there. Also as well, Lord, help our young people to love Christ more than culture. Empower them to resist the power of peer pressure. Merciful God. And Father, forgive our young adults and young people for any type of sin that they participated in, no matter what it may be. Maybe even taking inappropriate pictures of themselves. Forgive them and help them to value their bodies. Forgive us parents and guardians who have not created a proper environment for them. And Lord, help us to teach them to turn away from sin and to turn to you. Lord, also as well, as for each one of us, Lord, today, forgive us for not keeping our eyes on you and not becoming the role model and example that, Lord, you want us to be. Now, Lord, I trust that you'll heal all of us of our wounds caused by unforgiveness or any other offense. Help our youth and young adults not to lead or yield into temptation and deliver them from the evil one. Almighty God, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessing and honor and power and glory belong to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.